figured I'd show you how I program a song, such as this next week. We have Goodness of God coming up. Um, and we're going to go ahead and say the lyrics are correct, even if they are not. Um, that's not up to me. Someone else programs lyrics. But I will show you how I program lights for them. So again, let's just go into our Resolume computer. And you'll see that real quick, just as a refresher, it's kind of a big grid. So macros and pro presenter will line up with colors and like kind of the types. It doesn't have to match up like an intro might not always be an intro. I just have 10 different effects that I've kind of programmed here. And then they come in different colors, right? And anything that's touching on this grid, only one can be active at a time as you see what's happening there. Keep that in mind because um, that's what we're triggering with the macro for lights. And then Resolume, we're triggering individual uh, like actual like slides, if that makes sense. We trigger, I'm sorry, different columns. So song one was our first song and this next week's set, song two and so forth. I'm actually gonna save this as the next week, just in case. Go June 12th, and now it's saved. Um, so this song is the one, two, three, fourth song of this set kind of goes, I think, before the closing, right after the sermon. So we're going to be on song four. Now this background, I don't hate it at all. I actually really like it, but let's change up the color a little bit. This is just how I program because I know that this one was already purple. Purple is a great color also for what we do. I'm going to go over here, select the background. Let's see how it looks on our preview for our LED wall. I already have a colorize effect on it. And let's say that it's, so if I turn the opacity up, you see that it turned blue based on the color that I pick. Now I think we could probably get away with doing more of an orange color, an orange hue, and then pull out, you know, make it a little orange, a little not orange, drop the opacity. And now I'm gonna program with a purple cue. Again, it might not look like it changed much, the LED wall looking at it now from actually in the real world here. Looks pretty cool. It has a lot of orange shoes in it. So let's go back to ProPresenter. We always start with a setup slide. Usually these are pre-programmed, um, but I'll show you how to create a new slide and label it anyways. Um, just so you know here, you have groups and labels. We are dealing with groups here, slide groups. And that's what you're actually seeing here. When you import a song, probably will just look like this. You want to go to arrangement view. I know this is for June 12th. So I'm going to do a new arrangement and I've called it June 12th. And that lets me select, these are the parts of the song, right, generically. But this lets me select for June 12th, maybe we're starting with a chorus. Let me do two back-to-back -back verses. I'm not quite sure yet, so I'm just going to leave it this way. But our setup slide, our setup group slide, always has a planning center next, which triggers our planning center live to go to the next element. And we want the worship set macro. This tells it where to send different um like it has a theme that tells the video switcher to see lyrics a certain way while also telling the um, LED wall to stack lyrics a different way, a different themes, shows what goes where. Um, we don't run backgrounds in ProPresenter. We do that all from Resolute. So let's go ahead and we're going to go in our macro window here, which again, if it's not there, it's just the M. It's all the way to the right. Let's find our Resolute. This is song four. I'm going to drag it there. So now it's going to shift it on our Resolume computer and then keep going down. We're going to go to, I said I want to design it in purple. So it's kind of, I've designed it like a rainbow. So purple is here. And this is a pretty um, slow song. A lot of times I'll listen to the songs. I know this song pretty well as is, but um, I'll have it on Spotify just listening to it or the arrangement maybe is in planning center. Let's just start out with a low key verse and we're just going to drag it over there. And now, just to double check ourselves, if you go into the Resolume computer, it's on song four, the Resolume, and then there it's done our verse low key in the color purple, and you can kind of see what it's doing here. So we're good there. Um, again, you can kind of see how our confidence monitor looks. This is what it looks like on our stream or on our side screens, and then on the LED wall, this is the theme that's been applied. So that's kind of overlaying over a background that we choose in Resolume. We'll keep it here. Now we're done with the verse. Again, it's pretty relaxed in the beginning, but we want to change it a little bit for the chorus. What you're going to do is you want to make the slide blue. And you do that by either right-clicking and then clicking off, or you click on it, 
hold command and click again. Now, what we're about to do is add a slide after it. You can either click this arrow key and click new slide or do command shift N. And now it put a new slide here, but it's still blue, just like the versus. So what we're gonna do is right click, group. Now this is going to be our chorus. And I didn't say it, but this should be chorus one, right? Cause it's the first chorus. And this allows us, instead of just adding a light cue to this chorus, it allows us to change where we put this light cue. And so if they decide they wanna do two chorus ones, maybe one is really upbeat and one's really downbeat. Well, I can't change that. If I change the macro attached to just one slide, it changes it for all of them that chorus type. So we want separate slides and that's how it works best. So doing that, now we're gonna do a chorus low key, which changes the lights ever so slightly. So I'm just testing it there. And I, I'm watching it also in the real world, how it's changing, it looks good. That goes right into the chorus then. Again, we want verse two. Um, for this, since we haven't set up a verse that was a setup cue, let's go ahead and do that. So I have made it blue by command, clicking it. I'm gonna command, hold command, shift and N. It's gonna make a new one, change the group. So I'm right clicking, change the group, and this will be verse two. And now we have a verse two light cue. Again, we can probably just make it a pretty low key. So now we're there. Now to do the bridge, what we're gonna do is again, command click, command shift N, change this to bridge bridge one and we'll do bridge upbeat here we go if i had a guess they're probably going to do a course in between these so i'm going to drag a course one here i'm also going to drag a chorus one light cue before it so again that's how arrangement view works because now we're setting up our arrangement um they go into that um i bet you they'll do at least two bridges so let's say they build on the second bridge, right? So what I want to do, this is a little quirk here that can catch you off guard, is you can see the white, whatever is outlined in white is where you're at, what key you're on. So I'm looking for when I go to bridge one. So, okay, this is the last slide. The one bridge is four slides. So we're going to command click, command shift N, it adds another one. You'll see here that since this is both bridge one, added a slide here but also added a slide to our other bridge so i'm going to right click on this first one group bridge two light cue there we go and now let's say that gets more upbeat so now we're you know we're doing we're dancing a little more maybe a little more fading of the lights as the, as the music builds again we're just looking for what goes on here now let's say this will probably be a little quirky here let's say we're going into the tag Again, command clicking and command shift N. You'll see again that it is added to both bridges since they're the same queue, another slide. We're at the end here. I'm going to right click group. And this will be tag. Now, you might be wondering where to go. What it does is it defaults, it goes back in here to wherever that first queue is. We are trying to add it behind bridge, the second bridge one it defaulted to before or right after the first bridge one. It would do that with a chorus. If we did it, it would do that with everything. It would always, if we tried to add a cue after the last slide of this chorus, it would appear here. So again, it can be a little quirky the first time you're doing it. All you gotta do is drag that behind bridge one. There you go. And we'll say that we could actually, since there's orange hues in this, we could actually change it. Let's say we wanna do the same thing, like a low key bridge, we want it to be orange. Bam, now it's orange. And that's a pretty cool color combo since that background had purple and orange in it. Now we go through there. And now what we can do, we're gonna jump into, enable these. Maybe we wanna do a chorus two Q in command click, command shift N. Group is a chorus two light Q. And now we're gonna do more of a um, chorus low key, and then maybe we want to end on an outro. So again, just right after that last one, group, outro, and let's drag, let's go back to purple for an outro, low key. There we go, now we're done. So then as we switch to the closing, 
it'll, it makes sure that it switches it correctly. So that's how you program a song using macros. Um, and really all you're doing is it really is just three clicks or three buttons is the command key. And then the other combo is command shift N, or you can always just click the plus sign, add new slide. I just find it easy to do hotkeys. So anyways, hope that helps. Arrangement view is a lifesaver. Um, do what you will with that. And then if you ever don't like one, you don't have to start over. You can just right click, like if we don't want this, edit that action where it says purple chorus low key. And now we can select any of these macros that you also find over here. And that's how easy it is.